guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, after doing some Christmas decorating, it is time for my Christmas home tour. Um, so I'm gonna go around and show you all of my different decorations for Christmas. And uh, a little disclaimer, I kind of, I did a whole new version in my kitchen, um, but I did not do a whole lot of trees this year. Um, I feel like I didn't a lot of trees uh, because I do have a one-year-old and everything that I have, I wanted it to be like all within the same location so therefore I could kind of watch it all and not have any kind of accidents happen with her. Now she has already pulled over a tree two or three times um, but they're all really cheap lightweight trees and it won't hurt her and um, so it's fine <laughs> but um, that's only just the one that she's pulled over um, which is Caitlin Street which I'll show you that in a minute um, but it's all in good fun but I wanted to make sure that there's nothing that could hurt her um, so I've kind of had to keep some of my Christmas decorations away so and without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what I did. Okay, so this is my new part of the house. I am so excited for my farmhouse decor this year. So, uh, what we have first, this will focus. So here is my farmhouse tree that's in my kitchen. I absolutely love it. I bought this pre-lit tree last year at the after Christmas sale. Um, so I do really like the pre-lit tree. That may become a new thing. We'll see how long this lasts, though, um, because I'm now going to have to replace all my Christmas lights. Uh, not all of them, but almost all of them because a lot of them are dead. But they lasted for 10 years, so I call that a win. Um, I got a lot of new stuff from the Dollar Tree as well. So my farmhouse tree, my tip for doing a farmhouse house tree is don't use any balls no Christmas balls whatsoever everything else is like nature and stuff so my you can kind of get a closer look here so I've got like these glitter pine cones I don't even remember where I got these I've had these a long time those are kind of like my Christmas balls on this tree I got these great signs at Dollar Tree I got three of them to decorate my tree with um, also got these with the buffalo plaid. I got three of those as well from the Dollar Tree this year. I got these cute little lanterns. I got two of them. I may pick up another one just because they're so cute. And typically I have found that if you go with three items of the same, they seem to cover your tree very well. And there's the other one. So I do think I might get another one when I go to Dollar Tree because I'm having to go there today to pick up some stuff. Um, but I've also used these plaid ribbons. I and mean, I loved using some of these berries. Again, those are from the Dollar Tree as well. Now, this is like my one big, pretty, like, expensive ornament. Um, this did come from the Christmas place. Um, you know, so this would be a very expensive ornament. Uh, but when I say very expensive, I mean like $8. But to me, that's an expensive ornament. Um, but I think it's important to have some really nice ornaments and expensive ornaments to go with some of your Dollar Tree and homemade type stuff looking stuff. Then I have this one here that says snow that I really like. Here's one of these picks from the Dollar Tree that helps to give it some depth. I do like that it's a different type of branch and then it has the pine cone with it. Um, I've added in some little cute little rocking horses. and I think those turned out great because there's another one of those. It makes it very rustic. Uh, I got these from the Dollar Tree a few years ago and those turn out great as well so watch out for Dollar Tree to have some of those nice like homemade looking ornaments without actually looking homemade um, I got this one when we were um, on a vacation to take me home to the mountain for Christmas but we live in the mountains so it's absolutely perfect um, I love my horse items um, but I've only used the ones that are not too country western because there's a fine line between farmhouse um, and like a rustic and two country western. So I kind of had to pick and choose with that. So this one says life is a rodeo. Take it as you get it. Then again we have this little Santa Claus down here. That's really cute. It doesn't have a hanger on it. Um, I also got this one. This was my ornament I picked up last year. So every single year I go get an expensive ornament um, from the Christmas place. It's our tradition. And I think that's a really great tradition. And this is the one I got last year. Um, so again to go with my rustic tree. Down there's my other horse ornament. It says never walk when you can ride. Really love that one. Here's another Dollar Tree ornament. This one I got from Target a while back. Love that one. This one, another Dollar Tree ornament a couple years ago. And it says Noel on it. So oh, I'm about to knock some stuff over. Um, but overall, I think it's turned out really great. There's another one of the rocking horses. Um, I really think that I'm very happy with how this rustic tree turned out. And now over here is my brand new, brand new barn wood shelves that I just saw. So if you want to see, I have a video linked and I will um, put it up above in one of the cards. Um, if you'd like to see one of my 
uh, the DIY on the barnwood shelves. So I love these brand new barnwood shelves and they're great for Christmas. So I'll start up at the top. So first thing right here is these are actual cedar trimmings. I went out and took some of the cedar trees that are really a nuisance for horse owners. But I did trim some of the branches, which makes it smell great. And it is very rustic, and it's right outside. So I can literally just trim it and then throw it out after the holiday season. So up here I've got two of my Dollar Tree signs. So again, check out my Dollar Tree haul if you want to check it out. It'll be in one of the cards above. Um, I did where all the, a lot of this Dollar Tree stuff came from. Also right here, you can't even probably see it now, but there's a white candle as well. But the cedar trees kind of like cover that up. And right here is like a little sled. Um, really love it. It has a little wreath on it. Um, I didn't know for sure if I wanted to put it up here, but it turns out pretty good. This is an after Christmas buy as well. It's a Joy that lights up. It is battery powered, so I will turn that off um, once we're done here. I have a fake poinsettia plant that I've used for many, many, many years, but you gotta have a little bit of flowers and greenery uh, whenever you're decorating for the holidays, for sure. Here's my DIY lantern box. I really, really like it, and I'm gonna do a video on that. The next video will actually be on how I did this as one of my DIYs. The only issue I have with it, as you can kinda of see, it is actually bigger than my shelf. Probably should have measured, but I didn't since I just have these shelves, these boards in my barn, um, so I didn't measure, which was probably not a good idea. And I used um, the 8x10 frames there, but I'll uh, show you in that video what, what I did. But all I have is a candle in there, a pillar candle, um, but it actually is a short candle that I have just put on top of something, <laughs> and then I filled it up with some Dollar Tree items. Here's my nativity. I really love it. Plus, it is out of the way of little hands, and so my little kids can't actually get it because these are gl uh, not glass, but like ceramic. And you can kind of see, I've got the three wise men, a shepherd, a donkey, a baby Jesus, and Mary. I don't have a Joseph anymore, so I've just kind of moved a wise man over here to kind of like fill in that spot. Also used to have an angel right here. Um, it's also gone too. So, And then just a little bit of the berries from Dollar Tree kind of helps to dress it up a little bit. Over here, more Dollar Tree items. Just got this one this year for Dollar Tree items. I love it and it actually has some texture. I've um, got this from Dollar Tree. I'm actually going to put a tea light candle in that. I should have already done that. That was from Dollar Tree a couple years ago with a Noel. So overall, I think this corner for a farmhouse decor looks great. And of course I'll light up the candle whenever the time comes. Now, next, I've got my tablescape. Now, I usually, I should have had this exactly label but now I will put my china on the table for Christmas um, for Christmas dinner for sure or actually probably for Thanksgiving and then for Christmas we'll probably just do some like paper plates or something but yeah this would be our table for eating now I've moved my chair away because we do have the high chair currently uh, I did since I got all this brand new stuff that is going to keep people's attention away um, I did keep it very plain um, but these are new items as well though I picked these up at a yard sale for a dollar a piece so I was actually very happy with those um, so I've spray painted them silver and I just filled them up with some of my ornaments and a little bit of greenery sprig there so that turned out great now this is a burlap runner from the wedding section at Walmart um, these table pl placemats I've had for a long time um, but I'd like to get some Christmas dinnerware setting place settings um, so I might get a charger from the Dollar Tree um, to maybe try to have that happen. Um, we'll see on that, but it is a little bit on the barren side, but with Thanksgiving, which will be our first one coming up, I'll be placing so much food on this table um, that there will not be enough room for a huge centerpiece anyways. Um, now, sometimes I hang stuff from the lights, but this time I didn't, I felt like less was more with the rustic look for now. So, um, if you have a good comment on what I could put up here on my chandelier, to go with the rustic, uh, please let me know. It's a little bit fancy for the rustic, so I didn't want to bring your attention upward. So if you have a suggestion, please comment down below. Also over here on the windows, I do have three little wreaths. Very simple and all. Uh, now that one in the middle, um, I just have had forever. The two at the end, I had made with a wreath form, not even a wreath form, a, a garland form from Dollar Tree and some Dollar Tree items. So these are great. Eventually, I'm going to try to get some on every window, but it does take a lot of time and effort, so hopefully they'll be coming up soon. Next thing in the kitchen is these. These are my mason jars, and if you'll check in the link, um, I do have a DIY on how to make these mason jars. Um, so we've got some 
LED lights in them and some berries and there is a candle, but I actually don't think I'm going to light it. I don't think I'm going to light the candle when I have all this other stuff in there. I don't want it to catch on fire. Um, and then I got those little ribbons, so that turned out really good. Over here, on my pantry door, I used two more wreaths. I think that turned out really well as well. Now that again came from the Dollar Tree, uh, the garland forms and the big bows. So now it does have a little bit of sparkle compared to the rest, but it's over here by itself, so it should be okay. Next is on the hall tree. I have put up, kind of hard to tell right now, but I've put up a garland. Now how do I put up the garland is I put up a cheap Dollar Tree garland, and then I put up this cheap like rose, like poinsettia garland from Dollar Tree, but by putting both of them up there, it looks a lot more expensive. Also then just put up plain old pine cones. Like I literally went outside, picked up pine cones, and put it into the garland. Um, if you don't have pine cones, you could for sure just, you know, go to the store and pick you up a bag of pine cones um, from Pottery Barn, or sometimes they have it at Dollar Tree. And then I just use one of these Dollar Tree picks right here just to kind of give it a little kind of a centerpiece uh, with the apple, which I really like. But I do think that turned out really good. Now, I did not do any lights on this. Um, again, I have the little kids, and they'll pull stuff out of the outlets. So the only thing in this room I'm going to have plugged in will be my tree. And then I can just hit my LED battery stuff, and then I will light that candle. Um, but other than that, everything else will be the same for actual parties and stuff like that. So as far as in this room... So in the kitchen, the only thing I'd really like to get now is to have wreaths on every window um, and then a towel, like a Christmas towel to go on, on my oven. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. If you have any other suggestions for my kitchen, please comment down below. Okay, now, next thing. This is the playroom. You can see by toys, so please excuse the mess. This is Caitlin's tree. Now, um, this is my white tree that a lot of times I usually do like a red and white or blue and white but she really wanted to decorate her own this year so I let her decorate it with purple and blue I just gave her whatever she wanted to free reign um, you know and a lot of people will say oh it just doesn't look good or it's it really just looks like a hodgepodge you know sometimes it's just about making the memories you know and letting her do what she wants to do and the only thing I had to help her with um, is just trying to make sure everything was secured onto the tree um, but they try, but, you know, Blakely has now t tore this down two or three times. So, not a big deal. It's just a little plastic tree, so it's it won't hurt too bad. Um, so, this is her tree. Um, if you notice, she has little joy down there, and then over there, she has, like, a little piece symbol from there. Uh, now, this is really important. It's is an interactive Christmas thing. Now, it should be over here on the table, but they've been playing with it a lot. This is a Christmas village. So you have a little Christmas, like the Santa village thing. You have some fences. They have a sleigh, and there's a tractor somewhere, and there's lots of little people. Um, I got this at a yard sale, a dollar, for the whole thing just this year, and they absolutely love it. And what I'm going to do is put it in the Christmas decorations, and so this will only come out during this holiday season, so it will be a special toy that they get to play with just during that time. And that's a trick I got um, from Dude on a Dime, and I think that's a fantastic idea, because then it's a special item rather than something they have all the time. Something else in the playroom is I did decorate the bookshelves over here. You know, on the top two bookshelves I have like my items, um, and things out of the reach and then down here and below is toys um, well that is technically her karaoke machine but Blakely pulled it over so it has to go up out of Blakely's reach right now so um, I don't have two garlands you probably can't even hardly tell but the two garlands are not the same this one is just plain green that actually used to be my mantle garland it was last year and so it has, actually has lights on it so I had to hide that this one is one that kind of matches my garland I have right now because it has the garland and the silver with it. So I've just got this over here to the side. So I just put them both on here. And then now I hadn't decorated anywhere really in red. So I have my farmhouse, but I didn't really have any kind of red items. So I was like, well, I could put that in here. Um, it's already kind of a hodgepodge anyways, and I do love to have some red for Christmas. Um, so I put my shiny Christmas red balls on both of these and then I put some poinsettias on both of those little poinsettia like Dollar Tree items I think that really helps to fill in the gaps and I do like that um, so if you have any suggestions down below for other fillers down below um, if you'll 
do any other fillers that you have a suggestion like pine cones like poinsettias to help make your garland look more expensive um, and that's definitely what I need for sure um, right here on the window this was my regular door wreath but as you can see it's getting little on the like uh, probably needs to get rid of side but it works great for just a window decoration especially I only have one of these but I only have one window in here so it works out great right in between the two mantle pieces so I think those turned out really good so that's the playroom if you have any suggestions for in here or any other interactive ideas for little kids please comment down below next items is my outdoor space now we go back and forth between really decorating and barely decorating outside the problem is we get so much weather here it like destroys everything that's outside and um, so we kind of just decided just to kind of make it minimal this year we might put up some deck uh, some like lights i'd like to maybe get some like reindeer or something that lights up that's outside that's really easy to put up but like we don't have to do a lot of maintenance and stuff with it so um, if you have any ideas for a really easy outdoor stuff that takes like five minutes to put up that would be ideal so what we have out here is I've just got some two ribbons on my sconces there and this is my new wreath that I have created and I'm going to do a DIY video on that um, but yeah so I did create this wreath and it's really large um, which works out great because we do have a big house um, so you kind of see the scale really big but that is all I have outside I'd like to eventually get like two planters with some trees there but the problem is I have two steps here and it would have nowhere to sit unless like it have to be kind of skinny and then I'm afraid it would just turn over and not look very good at all so yeah any suggestions on this would be great I have thought about doing like a big piece around and I might do that in the future again the problem is the weather like it just like hammers on this side of the house um, and we just have kind of rough weather sometime um, so that's why kind of the inside is going to be where I pay attention the most okay let me show you more of the inside all right so here I am in my living room now I didn't turn the Christmas tree on because my plug is behind our big sectional couch and so it's hard to get in and out of there and so um, usually I just leave it on the timer and that seems to work out great for us. Um, so in here in my living room is kind of like a beachy theme. I did not continue that with the tree uh, but I kind of went for like a silver and gold theme. So the kitchen was like farmhouse. The playroom is totally up to Caitlin but then I did some like reds um, and then the living room here will just be um, silver and gold. So let's check it out. So here's my tree that's silver and gold. Uh, now this is my large tree, so I guess it's like about seven foot tall. Um, so I've got a gold tree skirt, so you can kind of see it here. Um, so I've got some of these like kind of glass looking garlands. <laughs> Things fall off a lot. <laughs> um, but mainly silver and gold and a few white ornaments. These are some of the ones I got from Dollar Tree this year. I love the tree, the uh, churches, these white churches. I got about three of those. Those turned out really good and really pretty. Um, this is one of my expensive ornaments, and those from the Christmas place. Um, it's good again to have like one or two really big items on these. Ooh, this one's cool. This is a cool ornament. This is what we got um, two years ago as our ornament. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. Like right, so whenever we have it turned on, we'll turn this on, and it looks great. Um, so we have layered the silver. Um, on it and then we also have layered a gold piece all the way around it as well it's kind of hard to see I probably should turn it on it and all the lights on here are like an LED so I will take a little video of it whenever it's turned on this evening um, so before I actually post the video I'll show you what it looks like when it's all turned on it is kind of in a dark space over here but it does look good it's not my favorite the farmhouse is my favorite um, so I don't know what theme I'll do next year. Um, I know my husband really likes the traditional look, so I may just do like red and green and stuff because um, I've done silver and gold for like two years in a row. So we'll see. Um, I'm, the jury's out on that. Um, but I do really like these picks that give it some some depth for sure because my goal is to make it look like a Christmas store tree, which is just piled on with all kinds of de decorations and garlands and everything. And I think we're getting there. Next, we have our mantle place. This is our main mantle. Um, so we've got our our five uh, stockings on it. So we've got my husband's, uh, which is a football one. Mine, which is like a cowboy one. My daughter's, which is the 
um, princess one, then my little babies, which is a Rudolph one, and then my dogs that has hers on it. Um, I do think that next year I'm going to get one that matches for all of us um, to get it a little bit nicer, I guess, um, a little bit fancier. Um, so with my mantle, I've just used this green and silver garland. Then I've used this um, silver uh, pieces that's just like that over there. Um, to go with it and then I've layered in some balls and some snowflakes um, and you can see that I also have these stocking holders that turn out really great to give you some interesting things too with it now these don't have anything to it so you don't cause any problems now these I just got from Dollar Tree um, they'll have a tea light candle in them and they can be lit up as well um, or I can just take that out which is nice um, but those are super cute I do love those for sure I um, don't really have any else, anything else on this side. Down here, on this little table, is more interactive Christmas. So as in stuff that my babies can touch um, without getting in trouble, <laughs> which I think that's so important during this holiday season. So we have like a little nativity here, but it is like just like, I guess, plastic or even like a plastic wood. Um, it's with silver sparkle. There's like a little nativity scene, so that won't be hurt at all. This I'm going to do a DIY on here in just a few minutes, um, but I just created these, these little nutcrackers, and I'll show you how I did that. Down here I have some, like, wintertime, like, stuffed animals that I literally only bring out at Christmas time. So I got the Coca-Cola bear, and then this cute little penguin, and those are really cute. And then down there it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then here's just a little tray box, and that's where I keep all of our vacation like books um, and so these I get all from Shutterfly hashtag not sponsored but I'd love to be um, so that kind of shows you know like all of our video our uh, vacations and stuff so if people come over we can talk about that and then they can have a look um, and I'm just gonna put them in there because Blakely tears it down all the time but again she can't really hurt it up here I have put up some of my sign images and I want to get some more so that I can eventually fill up my whole wall with Christmas decor items. So I have this one again that's a Dollar Tree item so I'm kind of just keeping my eye out. So eventually I'll probably replace them all with Dollar Tree items. Um, maybe not all of them. <laughs> I probably should try to find something else other than that. But I do like Dollar Tree items. And then over here I have another one. Just picked up this one. It says baby it's cold outside. And then I have wreath forms on the windows as well in here. Now since we went silver and gold we got to have silver and gold wreaths here. So I got this one, that one, and that one. Now I'll go ahead and tell you what is upstairs. Now so I've got three big trees. I do have one other small tree that is upstairs that has all of our vacation um, our vacation it, like uh, ornaments on it. And I will show it to you, um, but since my girls are asleep upstairs, I'm not going to wake them up. Um, but whenever I do go upstairs, I'll take my camera and I'll take a video of that um, as well. And I could turn the lights on as well on that one, but I just haven't. Okay, so, um, but it will have all of our vacation ornaments. So every vacation we go on, we end up getting an ornament from each place. So that is super special. So I don't get a lot of, like, touristy items, but I do always get an ornament, and it's a good tradition. So thanks for watching, and until next time, like and subscribe, and remember, be adventurous, and God bless. Bye, and Merry Christmas. new ornament for this year. Another new ornament for this year. New ornament for this year. Here we go.